Hello and welcome back to my Fallout 4 Far Harbor experience and today we're going into uh, Dima's best left forgotten memories and so let's get straight into the Akron, shall we? Okay so the movement controls inside the simulation are basically auto run and jump and they, you have to use the space bar to jump. Okay, so here we are in, in Dima's, the first room of Dima's. Now we've got these green things on the floor. They're the indexers. We have uh, turrets that we have to lay down to shoot the red things that are floating about. That's the uh, countermeasures. And then we've got these blocks where we have to put in the ground uh, so that our indexers can travel over. Right, I think Dima's about to talk, so I'll shut up. The architecture we're seeing is data, my data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology, a brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The Indexers have one purpose, to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Okay, so that's the basics laid out. And now this thing here is the most important thing. This is the decoder relay, which will take out the firewall, which is those red things. And they've got little lenses, which they're directed upon. Um, yeah, so uh, I've tried this various several ways. And this, this is the most simplest way, is just build a bridge, put the uh, turrets down to defend, and uh, everything's good. And then just uh, keep moving the turrets around as necessary until... Uh, the little green things have made it all the way to this yellow uh, stream and then back to the beginning stream. So, yeah. So, the thing is to remember is uh, do not delete the lenses and do not delete the guns. So, I don't know how it works out, but I always take the guns with me. Well, I don't know whether you get five guns as standard, but if you delete one of the guns, then you won't have five guns in this simulation. You need all the guns you can. Right, so that's basically done. Uh, the little green thing should now run across there. And, uh, yeah, and that's it. This room basically done now. Well, surprising. If I haven't got your guns deployed, then uh, they can get destroyed, these little green things. Uh, so, yeah, it's imperative that you have your guns in the right place. Okay, right, let's get this prize like here. <laughs> no, let's end it. Come on. So of course the shooting only starts when they've reached the yellow stream and then they're heading back to the blue stream, which is the one we started at. Of course the interesting bit is if you put the guns behind the firewall and they shoot at a countermeasure they can, and they can hit the firewall and they can sometimes dissolve the firewall, but it's the firewall. The system has been alerted to your presence. Now things will get hairier. You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system's sentries will do everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Now you see I tried to store that block and it didn't store it, it deleted it. That's what you have to watch. Another 
another verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream where this memory was stored. Memory file identification. 0V-9AX0. Converted to audio transcription. Beginning playback. Things are not going well with Far Harbor. Several of my people have been assaulted, spat at, interrogated for no reason. This is getting out of control. But there's still a chance they can learn to trust us. We just need one of their own who's on our side. I can't let anyone know what I'm about to do. I'll need to set up the equipment far away from Acadia. Double as a place to bury the evidence. Additional location data appended. A makeshift medical facility underneath the Vim. Pop factory. Coordinates downloaded. Right, off to the next room.